Hi, and welcome to Projects 360. This video is going to be how to create a proposal. Um, so we're over on our proposal section on the left-hand side of the menu. You can filter your proposals by all, by what's been opened, what's been signed and completed, and what's been archived. Um, to create a new proposal, um, as you saw in the sales CRM section, you can create a proposal from a deal um, or if you're not using that and you just want to go and create a proposal, uh, you can do so right uh, from here by clicking the cog in the upper right hand corner and hit add proposal. It'll then pull open the proposal tool. Um, you can then select the client that you're building the proposal for um, from your client uh, database and hit add. You can uh, choose to use or not use the client address. Um, I'm going to choose to use it so it auto fill everything in for you. Uh, you'll want to give your proposal a name. And again, naming is everything. So think just like I was saying in the earlier videos on the sales CRM and everything. We, we, we use a naming scheme in my own company, but we go by the la client's last name, if it's a common last name, comma first name, and then what it is. Um, or if it's a commercial project, maybe the corporation's name and what you're doing. This is for the search feature because all this stuff kind of gets pushed along um, through the software. So naming is really important. So in this case, the client's name is Jack White. So I'm going to go White. Um, and Jake and then let's say we're building a Crestron system for them and hit save and now we have a title for this proposal we want to we'll want to select who the designer is of building this proposal you can see any fields that are empty um, if you do have a cell number I think you, again you can just click on any one of these and enter that information um, remember those pricing rules and the settings that we set up? Here's where they are. Um, and we can select the uh, setting that we want. And we can then decide if it applies to labor, to product, or to both, um, if you want to. And again, you don't have to use a pricing rule if you don't want to. You'll select the tax rate that best applies for this proposal from the tax rates that you set up in the settings. Here's those payment schedules. Again, you can grab a payment schedule that best applies um, to here and add that. You can grab one of your uh, templated scopes of work that you set up. You can grab one of your contracts that you set up. And when that's all done, you'll go up here to locations. You'll um, go over and you'll see all the locations that you set up in the settings that we did. And then what you'll do is just drag over to the right the ones that apply to this particular proposal. If you do have something, a location that's very specific to the, just this proposal and you don't want to add it to your master database, you can just click the plus icon right here and just add it right here um, and if you do want to save it globally just click the global button right here and it'll actually add it to the master database right here um, you can then drag and drop the order of the locations that you that you want that, and that's the way they'll appear on the customer uh, proposal then you'll go over to systems. Um, you can create as many different systems. These are all the systems that you set up in the settings. And again, just like locations, just drag over to the right, the ones that best apply. Um, and then again, you can drag and drop the order you want them to appear on the proposal to the customer. When you're done with that, you'll go over to the cog in the upper right hand corner and go build proposal. Uh, you'll click on the build proposal. It'll pull everything up in front of you. And you can now start adding product to the proposal um, a variety of different ways. Um, 
you can search the local product database. Uh, remember in the product manager videos and we set all the product up. You can search through that. So like if you were looking for a Sony XBR television, even if you didn't know all of it, you just type in that. Our search feature will bring back everything that's relative to that search. You'll then click on the location that you want to put it in and it'll expand it and it'll show you all the systems that are available in there. Just grab the product then and drag it to the system you want it in, which in this case is televisions. Drop it. Um, it you can then actually set up accessories. Remember in the product manager how we added accessories to product? It'll prompt you if there's any accessories to a product. They'll pull up right here. And you have an option to um, add them or not. So like for instance on this television, we have an HDMI cable and a wall mount. Uh, say I didn't need the HDMI cable, I can just click on it and turn it off and it won't add it. It'll just add the wall mount. You can click on the plus symbol right here to the master product and you'll see any accessories that are associated with it. The other way you can bring in product is like we mentioned, we're integrated with Portal. Um, so if you were looking for something uh, from Portal, you can do so. Um, you can just start typing something in. And again, if you don't know the full model number or anything like that, if you just want to, you know, type in, you know, Integra or something like that, it'll reach out and pull everything back that's relative um, to that search. And you can scroll through and look for what um, you need. You can click on it. And it'll ask you to add it to the queue um, where you can just add it to the queue. And you can see in the background there that it added to the queue. And the, and the modal stays open so you can go through and like search a bunch of different things in portal and keep adding them to the queue. And then when you're done, you just X out of the uh, modal right here. They'll all be listed right here. And then you just drag and, you know, open the location you want, drag and drop it to the location you want, um, and it adds it automatically. If this product wasn't brought into the database before and it was the first time, um, you, you'd see it highlighted yellow. And the reason for that is Portal doesn't do the labor phase and labor hours, so you can edit that. You can just click on a product to edit it. Um, and you can edit every aspect of the um, product inside the proposal here. So again, if you're just starting out and building up your database, um, you can build a proposal and build your database together um, and kill two birds with one stone. So it's a nice, you know, feature. So you can go through like general details, you know, enter all that information. Any changes you want, if you just make a change um, here and just save it like that, it'll just save it for this proposal. If you want to update the master database, see the little globe up in the corner here? Just click on that. And it'll make any changes from this section, this general detail section, and update it to the um, master database. So that change will be in effect uh, going forward. Then you can go into the pricing. Um, so you can edit all this stuff. And again, as you do edit things, um, if you just edit it, it just saves it for the proposal. If you want to save it globally, just hit the global. The labor phases are right here um, that you can set up and hours. Um, you can uh, bring over notes and you can add notes and attachments right here. And this is handy. So when you're creating a work order from a proposal, it'll bring these notes and attachments over to the work order for the guys. And then if you want to add accessories uh, right here and now to this product, you can do so right here too, um, just like before, locally or through portal. And again, to save just this section, just click the uh, globe up here. If you want to save everything you've done, say you did a bunch of different changes throughout all the different sections of a product, you can hit the master globe down here in the lower left and it'll update the whole product um, automatically. Uh, so again, next time it's done. Uh, when you go under browse, uh, you can add, you can build packages. Um, so like in the previous video, you can see how to build packages. So you can build as many different packages as you want. Um, say you have your favorite surround system you sell, you know, in the family rooms a lot. Uh, you can, you know, expand the great room, grab the 
sur- uh, the surround system package, drop it over the system, which in this case would be audio video. And you can hit the plus symbol to expand it. And you can see a list of all your different products right here. And the cool thing is too, if you click on it, you can drag and drop the, the order of the product. And that's the order it'll appear on the proposal uh, to the customer. You can also filter out by brands and by categories right here um, for another search feature. As you're building, you can go um, under the cog and go to calculate proposal. Um, what this is, this is a good internal measure. If you're like trying to stay in a certain margin or price point, you can just click on it. It'll show you the product, you know, cost versus MSRP, any equipment discounts. It'll show you the total margin right here and markup um, with ta- equipment with tax. You can see, again, the labor cost and sell price, the labor discount if there was, labor markup or margin, and total without tax in this case. And you can see the overall uh, margin or markup on the project. You can see any discounts. You can see the proposal total, and then you can see the total with tax. So if you're trying to, again, stay on a certain track, you can do so. And then you can also download this to a PDF. And that pretty much concludes the build building of a proposal. Thank you and have a good day.